cybersecurity education is very important because it allows the individuals that are uh, going into the discipline to be able to uh, to get educated about the various topics related to cybersecurity. And uh, cybersecurity itself is, is connected to our civilization as a whole. The education aspect is to become that scholarly or, uh, practitioner and researcher in the discipline itself. So uh, once that person leaves that uh, educating en environment, they could go out and, and become the, the, tr the true expert in the field. So um, that is why it's so important to, for, to be educated in cybersecurity. The answer actually is, is no. The individuals that are assisting Americans to do this are, are the providers of the application or the technical devices that are used by Americans. There's a, there's a sort of a first-line defense for that for most Americans. Um, and so it has become sort of a second nature, but in the same token, they will, uh, technology is never perfect, never 100% perfect. So uh, Americans could do more and um, take, uh, take active, proactive uh, action, as, such as not to give their information out to, uh, you know, to sources and, and um, to also be aware of things like phishing email and, 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 uh, and micro devices that come through their email or to the websites that they surf, uh, to be aware of things like um, there, are, there, are, there are fake sites out there as well. The certifications themselves are a, a measure of, of, of competence, measure of skills. Um, uh, the employers today want to have some sort of a validation of the competence of individuals that they, that they employ. Um, and that the only thing to measure at this point is those skill sets that are tied to commercially uh, verified and, and recognized uh, certifications. I started actually 35 years ago in the discipline in IT, and uh, IT is, and cybersecurity has evolved. It has been defined and it still continues it's continued to be defined to today. Uh, initially, there weren't any need for security because we weren't, we weren't connected to other systems. Like for example, I started my career in the US Army and we carried around all of our IT systems ourselves. So, so we didn't connect to anywhere else. It, we, we sort of kept this, this bubble within ourselves where our information didn't flow to pipes, commercial pipes or any commercial entities and, and weren't open to someone getting in and, 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 you know, and taking out the information. Well, around the, the turn of the, of, of the century, we, we changed our model where we, we, were, we started to use audit systems, commercial systems, for example, to, to port information through. And, and those we didn't design ourselves. Uh, so, so the, the knowledge or the, 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 um, the danger and the vulnerabilities associated with those systems now became our issues and became, uh, became a, a vulnerability for us. Uh, so, uh, so that caused uh, um, for security to be more important in our model in, in the way that we do our business, basically. And everyone now became, you know, uh, connected or concerned about the same vulnerabilities that exist out there. So that is what caused the evolution of cybersecurity and became an everybody's business, really. It was not everybody's business early, uh, uh, 10, 15 years ago, but it has come to that point now that, look, all of our information is out there. All of our information are, are, are vulnerable and exposed to, uh, to different dangers. So now it becomes an entire population uh, business in order to be concerned about it.